Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hi everyone, my name is Jared Schmidt. I'm a bartender from Vancouver, British Columbia. And on today's episode of Bacardi Shift, we're going to be talking about secret recipes and syrups. So we're going to examine a couple lesser known cocktail recipes that you may be unfamiliar with. Today, we're going to be working with Teeling Irish Whiskey, and we're going to go over some classic Irish whiskey cocktails. Whiskey cocktails are something that everybody knows about, everybody knows about old fashions and whiskey sours, but what comes to mind when we think of a traditional Irish whiskey cocktail? Those are a little bit less common. You may think of an Irish coffee and you may draw a blank. That's pretty common actually. One of my favorite old time Irish whiskey cocktails is a Tipperary. So the Tipperary, if you're unfamiliar, it's a classic Irish whiskey cocktail. It's strong, it does emphasize the Irish whiskey, and it has a lot of uh, herbaceous and floral character to it as well. Definitely an old favorite of mine. Recently I've actually come across a few similar recipes and we're going to explore those as well. Portland bartender the other year came up with a cocktail called a Massey. A similar cocktail idea, yet this time he's splitting the base between Irish whiskey and gin. Split based cocktails are kind of trendy right now. I really like them because you can add new notes to whatever your base spirit is, or you can share that role between two different spirits. And when I was looking at the Massey cocktail, I realized it's almost a cross between a Tipperary and another one of my old favorites, and that cocktail is called the Bijou. The Bijou is another stirred down cocktail served in a coupe, but it's gin based. If we look at all these cocktails, they have very similar structures to one another, and it all kind of brings me back to the Tipperary and Irish whiskey. So now today we're going to make our own cocktail that's slightly new, but it's definitely based on this. It has a lot of BNA coming from the Tipperary cocktail. For our base today, it's going to be one ounce of Teeling small batch Irish whiskey. So the Teeling company, uh, as it's known today, was established in 2015 by two brothers, uh, the Teeling brothers. They purchased 16,000 casks from their old distillery that they worked with. And their kind of whole philosophy is challenging the notions of what Irish whiskey is today. And they like to do things a little bit unconventionally and break the rules sometimes. This particular whiskey, their small batch Irish whiskey, is finished in rum barrels. So it, go, it undergoes a maturation stage in X rum casks. That gives it some distinctive stone fruit and dried fruit notes. I get some uh, lingering plum and dried apricot character in this and we're gonna use that information to build our cocktail here today. So, one ounce of Teeling Small Batch Irish Whiskey. Knowing that this is finished in rum casks, and seeing the success of the Massey cocktail, which is a split, blade, split base, <laughs> pardon me, between Irish whiskey and gin, I'm actually going to add a little bit of Bacardi tenure to this. So this is just going to emphasize some of those rum-like notes that we're getting in this Irish whiskey. So this is going to bring out some more of that stone fruit and dried fruit character in our cocktail. Half an ounce of Bacardi 10. Three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth, just like many classic cocktails call for. I'm going to be using Martini Rosso. Gives a nice herbaceous quality to the cocktail. Even though all of these recipes we've talked about come or call for green chartreuse or green herb liqueur, I have yellow in my home. I actually prefer yellow for this cocktail because it uh, it dominates the drink's flavor profile a little bit less. It's a little more subdued than the green variant of it, and this is going to let those Irish whiskey characters come through a little bit more in this cocktail. And we're just going to use a third of an ounce of this. Next up, one dash of Angostura bitters, similar to the original Tipperary recipe, and one dash of orange bitters, similar to the Bijou recipe. I do like the combination of both flavors of bitters in this cocktail. Now we're gonna add ice to our mixing glass and stir it down. First off, I conveniently have a nice chilled coupe there, and that is the vessel we will be serving our drink in today. Get out your bar spoon, our other preferred stirring device there. We're going to give this about a nice little 20 second stir there. Everything we're using is rather high proof and strong and spiritous, except for the vermouth. So this does benefit from a longer stir. You really do want it to achieve adequate dilution, otherwise it may come off a little bit strong. Which you may like, but uh, generally people are going to want this nice and properly diluted. The healing itself is coming in at 92 proof, so definitely full body, full flavor. 
benefits from a good intentional stir. Give that a taste when you think you're about ready and make sure that it has achieved the temperature and dilution level you want. Perfect. Take the julep strainer or hawthorn strainer. We're going to serve that into a chilled coop straight up. And we're going to garnish that with a little orange expression here. So take your peeler, peel off a strip of orange zest. We're going to express that over the cocktail, get some of those nice orange oils on top. It gives a nice fresh citrusy aroma. And then we're going to kind of adorn this coop with a decorated garnish here. So let me just trim this up real quick. Cut it into a little strip. We're going to call this an orange flag. It's kind of one of my favorite ways to garnish a cocktail like this. And now, the last thing that we need for this cocktail is a name. So the Tipperary is, of course, a nice cocktail name. The Massey, I believe, is named after a person. Bijou, I actually don't know the origin of that name. We'll have to do a little bit of digging on this. This cocktail today, we're going to call it a telling tale of healing. It's a bit of a tongue twister. I'll say it again. A telling tale of healing because we got to talk about the story of Teeling Irish Whiskey and by using a little bit of rum in addition to our base of Teeling Small Batch Irish Whiskey, we get to tell the story of the maturation that this whiskey undergoes. Okay, until my next shift everybody, enjoy, cheers, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the Carnegie Chef for more content like this.